Yo, what is up, Briz? It's your boy, Guppy Boy 9000 and today I am back at y'all with another waifu review. And today we are looking at Yuzuria. And as y'all can see, she is a Kanoichi waifu. And as y'all, if, if y'all, man, if y'all been with me since the beginning, y'all already know that I love sexy Kanoichi anime women. And this figure is no exception of that. Like, she has literally, bruh, she literally has the whole, the whole gi and stuff. Like, the whole design that I, like, literally when I first started doing my kick bashes of anime ninja girls and stuff like that. She has, like, the complete fit that I was looking for. Or at least one of the fits. Now, with that being said, as y'all can see, man. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give y'all a good front view. Get that clear up. Give y'all a side view. Then a back view. And there you go. And as you can see, man, she has a dope design, bruh. She has the Tigo bitties. Hanging out, which I'm not even a lot of y'all. I'm actually surprised that figure arts has really done went the extra mile to give us a clip. Well, I'm, I, I, I need to take that back. I don't know why I'm saying I'm surprised. I'm literally acting like we did not just get a Fujiko Mine figure from SH figure arts years ago. <laughs> but yeah. So, yeah, I, I need to take that back. I, I'm not surprised. But. Normally, they don't give us many figures with this type of design unless it's like a real popular character. And as you can see, I guess Hell Paradise is a very well, it is a very popular anime. And I assume that she is a very popular character because I have not watched the, I have not watched the anime. I literally know nothing about this character, but I do love the design of the character. And with that being said, I will go ahead and say that, man, looking at how great this figure is, Brez, there is no excuse for why we should not receive an Ibuki from Street Fighter. Because, Brez, Ibuki is literally everything that we're looking at right here with this figure. So, SH Figure Arts, Tamashi Nations. If you see this, hop on a butte, hop on, hop on Ibuki for us, bruh. Now, getting into the review, getting all my rambling out the way. She comes with a number of accessories, which really, a lot of it really is kind of questionable. But she does come with a great number of accessories. She comes with four extra faces outside the default, which is the one that we have right here, which is the smiling face, as y'all can see. She comes with another cheerful face right here where her eyes are closed. She comes with another face where her tongue is sticking out. She comes with a another which I'm which I think these are literally two of the same. Wait, what? Okay, no, these ain't two of the same faces. So this one is more of a a smiling cocky face I, I would assume this is more of a a joyful face of a smiling face so yeah those kind of look the same but the eyebrows make the difference and then here goes the actual original default face that she comes with the neutral face so yeah she comes with a great number of, of faces she comes with three sets of hands Two being the default hands, her fist, which she comes with these on in the in the actual package. Then she comes with the jazz hands, which you can use these for anything. Then she comes with these hands right here, which are hands you can kind of use as, I guess, throwing hands or gripping hands or whatever. 
or semi gripping hands. And then you got the actual gripping holding hands where she can hold her two kunais that she come with. And she comes with a sword, which in my opinion is kind of pointless because it plugs into the back right here, this little peg hole. And yeah, it really, the sword really does not stay in the back all that well, at least on mine. It doesn't, I don't know about y'all's. So yeah, it, it doesn't really even, and then on top of that, she doesn't even, she can't even use the sword. So if you have any alternative swords from any type of SH fig yards or figmas or revel tech with this type of ball joint design right here, if y'all can see it, that plugs into a figure. Trying to get it to focus. Okay, the hell with it. But yeah, if you have any other sword with that type of design that has a peg on the um, on the end of it that can like plug into the little ball joint right there into her back, that will probably be better because at least you will be able to have a sword that she can hold and use. Now, with that being said, the articulation on her, she comes with a double ball jointed neck, which goes all around as you can look up, down. She has another ball joint at the lower neck right there that gives her good range of articulation right there. That far down, that far down, that far up. Then she comes with butterfly joints with a up and down ball joint hinge right there. Uh, what's it called? Elbow, not elbow, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, then ball joint at the wrist. And when you get to her, her waist articulation, this is where it kind of throws me off is you see right there on the chest, she has a like a little cut, like a line right there, which gives you the illusion that there might be some articulation right there to, to where she can. And no, she cannot. Well, I, I kind of decapitated her. I, I decapitated her. So, yeah. Like I said, it gives you that illusion that she can have some articulation right there, but newsflash, she doesn't. Because if you look right here on the side, there's no cut or anything on the side of the side boob right here, like there is on the under boobs on the front. So, yeah, that's kind of a, that's kind of a, a ugly decision matter of fact no that is an ugly decision because it doesn't make sense because why is there a cut right there but not uh, I, I don't know it's sh fig yards but yeah she has a a ball joint at the waist which gives her good range of motion but then again that's the only way you can kind of do it with a character like this because when you have this type of design it's like the only way you can do something like this is if you have like this type of design or you have soft goods and SH Fig Yards is not ready for soft goods. <laughs> now, she has the the fighter hip joints that you see on most of the, uh, the Street Fighters and the Dragon Ball Z's where her legs can kick out that much. And then she has the little cover ups that hide the ball joints. She can kick up that much. She has double jointed knees. She has an ankle rocker and then toe articulation. And with that being said, that's pretty much it. That's all the accessories and that's all of the articulation. Now, she is a pretty dope figure. She is a great like Kanochi waifu if you want to just have like a ninja girl to throw in your collection. Now, with that being said, we're finna get into a little bit of size comparison and I will throw, you know what, since I mentioned her, I'm going to throw in SH Fig Yards Chung Lee. Right here. And I will throw in Jada Toys Chung Lee. So you can get a bit of the height differences. She's about the same height as SH Fig Yards Chung Lee, which like I said, man. This body is great for an Ibuki. 
that's mainly the reason why I kind of I, I, I kind of want to say I got it. Because if you look at this character and you look at Ibuki, you could if you find the right head sculpt. And if you know how to do some of the the if you know how to do some of the, the modifications. The only thing about it is the, the, the paint apps, the paint apps is off. So. Because, yeah, like Ibuki wears like a like a, a beige color outfit where she's in purple but yeah like either way they brought back the street fighter line hopefully we can get any buki but yeah like i said this is like she's she goes pretty well in scale with anything bruh and if you want to just make you a customized ibuki you can actually do that now bringing in a figure for size comparison the Roman key body with some beautiful modifications that I just made. And Brez. Get ready for an update video to come in pretty soon because we got Jessica. Not Jessica. We got Jesse from Team Rocket upgraded on the Roman key body. And let's just say she looks perfect. She looks beautiful. She looks gorgeous. Let's just say Jesse is ready to get messy. Now, bringing in another figure for size comparison, let's bring in a snail shell sister, the waifu of all waifu with them big old titties or big old bitties right there. And both of them characters tower over her. And moving these to the side, let's bring in a second axe figure. Right there. As you can see, it... Okay, yeah. As you can see, the second Ask Me Not Say body stands taller than her. And on top of that, since her head is on a... I'm going to show you right there. Her head is on a ball joint with a ball socket in it like that. Which means if you get the right type of figure and you do some of the right type of modifications, you could... You know, you could play around and, you know, get some of your own little, your own little kick bashes going. Like I said, that's one of the main reasons why I got this figure. Like, this is a beautiful, not only this, like an amazing character and a character design, but this is a great figure to use for kick bashing. If you want to make like a, like a little Konoichi type of anime female character. On top of that, here she is next to a Marvel waifu, the waifu queen of all queens. Here she is next to Miss Jessica Drew, the original Jessica Drew, the one that we actually know and love. Here she is next to a SH Figuarts, another baddie that we all love. And is obsessed with Harley Quinzel. And as you can see, she scales well with Marvel Legends. But I mean, at the same time, why would you pose this type of character with a Marvel Legend so we can get that out the way? And she poses well with the SH Figure Arts DCEU, which again, why would you pose her with that? So let's keep it more anime. And let's throw in uh, uh, Astrobots Athenia, which let's be real, this right here is uh, this right here is a waifu robot. And let's throw in a Kickbash Revel Tech Spider Gwen with a Anya Corazon head. 
and she scales well with all of those. Excuse me, I, I didn't pull out all of my figures for, okay, here we go. I had to go dig around in the fig box. So here she is next to Super Sonico. And yeah, that is, like I said, do that at your own risk. If you know what I'm talking about. If she'll stand. Okay, her and Super Sunny Go scale well together because that's really what y'all want to see. So she scales well with the Tamana Nasagi Super Sunny Go. Okay, let's get Figma Sophia out here. She scales well with Sophia quite well. And moving Super Sunny go to the side. Here she is next to everybody's favorite, our number one waifu. Or in my or in my case, I'll say number two. The Milk Queen. Here she is next to Toppy Gal. And moving Sophia out the way. Here she is next to. Which I'm telling y'all, this review is in the works. I'm I'm bring, I'm literally working on this one. After I get my next one out. Here she is next to the assassin. The female that you see on the back of the box. And with that being said, uh, I think I got more stuff I can compare. Okay, okay, I'll throw in, move the assassin out the way. Here she is next to a Fison body right there. So there goes all the size comparisons. She's a really dope figure. And honestly, I ain't even a lot of y'all. This, this, like this review is actually, is, huh, it's actually like a really good, this is actually a really good figure. It's actually pretty dope. Like I said, if you want to do this for like, like kick bashing, I really wasn't going to review this figure, but I said, well, this is actually a good figure for kick bashing, and I could actually show this to the Brez online who probably wanted to see it and let them know how good this figure is. And like I said, bruh, she's a dope figure. She poses well. She comes with a decent amount of accessories. And on top of that, like I said, if you want to play around and do some kick bashing and like customize you or modify like modify you like a good Kanoichi girl, then hey. This right here is the perfect figure. But other than that, this right here is a dope figure. If you want her, you can go pick her up at, well, I got mine off of eBay. So hmm, I'll say either go check eBay or check Macari because I think she sold out on all the other sites. But with that being said, yo, this has been your boy, Gubberboy9000 and Brez. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time.